it out, man. This alchemist. The God right don't here. pee, don't pee right here, you know what I'm saying? And don't be scared to get shitty, man. You know what I'm saying? UGTV is going down. It's good, y'all. This is Music Soul Channel right now. You are checking out Urban Grind TV. What up, man? This is Ludacris, and right now you are watching UGTV. Shannon, and it's the Teflon Don Ricky Rouse. Right now, you rocking with Urban Grind TV. It's going down. Block, block, man. Block, belly, install. 10 by 10 minutes. UGTV don't go nowhere. Yo, what's up? It's Eric Summer, the Green Light Bandit in Chi Town. UGTV, you know how I do all day. Represent that. You know what time it is. Hey, Joel Santana, and right now, you checking out Urban Grind TV. Dipset for life, Skull Gang, Fab, and Slow Bucks. Keep up. Ooh. What's up, it's the Patty Kick Man, and you are watching UGTV right here. It's Big Snoop Dogg, Urban Grind TV, you understand me? Urban Grind TV, face mob in the building. I'll let your motherfucking boy. It's Killer Cam, King Joffy Joe, Space and Spark. It's a late night, you watch watching Urban Grind TV, you know what it is, good set, you win. Yo, check it out, y'all, what's the dead? It's Ray Corner Chef, and you doing it big right now on Urban Grind TV. What's good, Master God? You know what it is, you watching UGTV. Yo, what's up? It's DA to the Z, Urban Grind. You know what I mean? Television, keeping y'all updated. Get on the log, log in, email us, holler back. It's DA to the Z right here, Chicago, baby. It's your boy Wally, aka Mr. Music is my business, and we are live on Urban Grind Radio, rocking with the Behind the Grind series. And my co host, you already know what it is it's Puerto Rican Dot Creative. You create, I design. Welcome in. Yo, y'all already know what it is. SMG Zello, aka Thought Boy Zello, the Talk a Lot artist, man. AKA Baby Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Here we, we go. in it. Here we so go. we're back. Another, another, uh, Another episode of Behind the Grind. And what's really great, I, I thank you guys for joining me again today. What's great about you know. is Behind the Grind is we get to step behind the curtain of the music industry mm -hmm. uh, with this exclusive series. And what we do is we delve, we delve deep into the unseen gears, kind of the power that generates the entertainment industry. And we give people a rare glimpse of the essential roles, duties, and services that are needed if you want to survive <laughs> in this industry. And behind every successful person, I can... Guarantee that somebody is doing this stuff and making these gears turn. So what we wanted to talk about today was the service DJ pack, right? So you guys ever heard of a service DJ pack? Yeah, most definitely. I heard of a service DJ pack. As a model and a, and a makeup artist, I have not. So I will be coming into this with a fresh mindset. That's good. So that's why we're here. So the service DJ pack is is very essential. It's for, it's for artists that are looking for promotion and they want to specifically it's market to a dj right and what we did is we put together a detailed list here um so how to create one what is a service pack so service pack is refers to a promotional package specifically tailored for djs and they contain essential materials that assist the djs in promoting your song and promoting a particular track or release a service pack includes a career <laughs> Includes a curated selection of assets and information designed to the cater to the needs of the DJ. Now, that's saying a whole lot, but what it's saying is it's a way of delivering music to the DJs in a format they want. Because, listen, artists, they're not going to take your Spotify link um, and take it and put it in the club. They're not going to go to your iTunes or your Instagram and snatch it if you want to build something with the DJs. You gotta get in front of oh, Yeah, you definitely gotta go build those relationships. Right. Yeah. And especially now there's a lot of services you can pay um and have it sent directly, and there's others that you just need to go out on the grind and, and go develop the relationships. Well, the purpose for those that don't know of a DJ service pack is to streamline the process for DJs to discover, evaluate, and incorporate new music into their performances. By providing DJs with a comprehensive package of music files, remixes, technical details, and promotional materials, artists and labels can increase the visibility and accessibility to their music with the DJ community. 
This ultimately leads to more exposure, potential, and collaborations. Most definitely. So what, what, how do you feel about that? That's the same way we, like, in terms of, like, I'm understanding it as, like, models putting together their best work in their portfolio and submitting it to agencies. Correct. But it, this is more specific for the purpose of that particular song. Right. Right. Awesome. And now, and a question for this, like, do you send in to DJs randomly when you start off? No. Or is it like, are you gearing towards the same genre as you? I'm glad. That's a great question. And we're going to we're gonna talk about that here. Is you want to definitely target um, DJs that are in your genre and people that play it. If you're targeting a house DJ and with a hip hop track, it's probably not going to hit. Just like if you're, you do runway and you're trying to like target another kind of agency. If you, you know, it's... You got to know your audience. So yeah, absolutely. Know your audience. That's and what I learned over the time, too. Once you know your audience, you're going to know, you know, the DJs you can work with ultimately. And then sometimes once you get more familiar with it, they're going to be able to come to you over time if you promote yourself right. You know absolutely. Right? So definitely want to know who your audience is. And this is a way to target to target specifically. It's This is kind of just like a checklist and a format. But go ahead, man. Take it away. Yeah. Jeff. And this is how they are most mostly distri distributed. So DJ services, service packs are often distributed digitally through specialized platforms or directly by artists and labels to DJs, radios, DJ clubs, DJs, and music curators who are influential in shaping trends and playlists within the music industry. The content of a DJ service pack may vary depending on the target audience and promotional strategy of the artist or label. So that said a lot. Do you understand what that means? Uh, it's 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 kind of self-explanatory. So it's basically, it's basically getting that you gonna get what you you know you gonna get what you pay for when you come in with these DJ packs. You know, you could tell like um, and depending on who you go to, you know, it's different services and you know the different deals you could do to get the content. You know, for whoever you're working for. You see what I'm saying? So. Well, I guess yeah, but what it should be now is it should be standardized in the music industry. So most of the time, most artists and entertainers we work with, you'll see them, they'll go to the studio, right? Um, they'll record, they'll lay down their stuff, they'll say, hey, give me a bounce, give me that MP3, send me a wave file, and I'm good. Well, essentially, you should have a copy of that session, the actual Pro Tools session, and you know, if you're smart, you just travel with a thumb drive, external drive, and get a copy of the session, and I'm gonna tell you why, because there's a list of stuff you're gonna need. So when you're put together, the purpose of a of a service pack for DJs is essentially so you the artist the DJ can have the clean version because if he's mixing somewhere on the radio obviously you can't curse unless it's satellite so he needs a clean version of the song to mix into it right but when he goes to the club and he wants to bring it back he's not going to play the clean version so he's going to need an explicit version of, the, of that song the explicit version because that way he can rock it in different places definitely. we're gonna he's gonna need an acapella so the acapella is just the vocals from the song. So they bounce that, just the song without the music. Mm -hmm. And then you put that on a track and it's just gonna have the vocals. Then you're gonna give them an instrumental. An instrumental is just gonna be just the music itself. And then there's remixes. People do extended remixes, house remix. And the reason is the more you give them, the more they can do with it. So if you're doing makeup and you only have two colors, you gotta get really creative. But if you give them like a full kit, like a makeup kit with all the different shades, then obviously you can do more. In this business, most time if they don't have a service pack, they don't even like take it serious. Like, cause they can't do nothing with it. They want the, and the key to when you're sending out music, you want to have uh, music that fits with what's that DJ's playing. So if it's, um, <coughs> if it's a little baby, right? And they want to be able to come out of what's hot right now and blend into your music. They might lay the vocals on. They might start with the instrumental. So that's what the point of the, the service pack. And a lot of times, you know, me and Saucy Sinister were talking, right? He's like, you make it, right? You make the <laughs> you make the pack and you have it. But if we don't do nothing with it, this is the right. point. So I want people not only to get in the habit of getting their files and their sessions, but creating the service packs. So when they say, hey, I'm working a record and they can send it to us and other DJs. And, you know, you'll get respect for that because, you know, Hey, at least this guy is respecting me, like presenting me with something that I can work with. Most definitely. Right. So music files. So that's kind of the things we were talking. 
one for number one on the list is the files. It's the original song, Wave or MP3, and it's got it should be mastered. Like the stuff you did it, and if you go to your car, it sounds bogus, and you got to turn the bass all the way up or something to hear it. It's not mastered. It's not ready for release. So mastering is an important part of music. Now an MP3 is obviously a smaller waveform uh, than a wave. Give the guys both. So the original, I'm we're assuming is explicit or it can be. The original version, the dirty version. I mentioned the instrumental and the acapella. And any remixes. Now people will do club remixes. They do all kind of different remixes. Now if you have that included with them, so they may play it, they may go and want to remix it themselves. And number one, if they don't got the music, what can they do? Right. So what do you think's next uh, is really important to them? Um you know, basically like your cover art on your work, so how you present your work, like how the expensive perfumes are and them heavy bottles or like in makeup, like they have the heavy liquid foundation bottles for like that more expensive stuff. So it's like basically like make your stuff look presentable, make it look like somebody wants to be intrigued by it, depending on your audience, your audience that you're targeting, of course. Um, and your biography, the artist bio. So you have to go ahead and like, Tell them who you are, but make it concise. Put it into maybe a, f a paragraph or two, because not everybody has an attention span to read two paragraphs, stuff like that anymore. And, like, professional photos. Obviously, for us models, it's more like our comp cards and our cover photos and stuff like that. Um, for artists, I don't know what they're called. It could be called the same thing. Promotional photos. Promotional photos, then. Um you know, like, those are the ones that you want everybody to see. You don't want everybody to see the lacks. You don't want everybody to see the behind the scenes. You don't want everybody to see the bumps and the weird stuff in your skin and, and all your other stuff. Unless you want people to see that, that's, auth that's authentically you. Um, but also the contact information. Um, why I was why a little, would that be important? I was a little confused by this, though. I'm not going to lie to you. because right, talk to me. It said the contacts, uh, contact contact information for artist contact is to provide up-to-date contact details for art for the artists or their management team right so do some artists not even put their contact no. on stuff no listen or do you are those like just starters no that's the thing is even, or do like, you just have to be that selective artist that's like I, you don't get to talk to me no i listen i think it's a i'm although i'm not a, an artist i've been in management for 20 years and i the important thing with and we're going through this now with some with some people that recent signees is that when you when you're an artist and you're doing the business, you, number one, you become too accessible for people. And once you become accessible, then you become regular. Then there's not a value to your time. There's not a value to your service because they feel like, oh, that's my guy. I can text them. Number two, you gotta have your management's gonna have the the I call them the uncomfortable conversations, right? Of of what needs to be done in exchange for what and those are the money conversations so if you two guys have a great relationship your co-workers you're cool as hell now all of a sudden you're doing makeup for his video and you got to be like yo i charge like 200 it's gonna be like 175 saucy you know what i'm saying like for a person because <laughs> i need my bread saucy. right and no, so, now depending on your relationship now some people might assume they're getting it for free or whatever and that's where you have management you have policies and what they are essentially is you're setting expectations up front. They're the enforcers. Yeah, they're yeah. expectations. And uh -huh. so you guys don't have to have that uncomfortable conversation. Well, as makeup anymore. artists, how do you get an enforcer? And so you got to have management or a management team. That's the people that represent you. So so that way I can be like, listen, uh, Zello, Saucy, uh, you know, <laughs> Dana charges. She charges 200 a person. But because we got, yeah, shout out Sinister, man. Shout out um, SMG, because man. we have a couple of people, you know, we're agreed to a, a discount rate of, 50 or whatever right so we have that business conversation you say all right i'll take it to my managers right i don't even talk zello got management that's shout out sinister so shout i would go sinister. to him and i'd have that conversation with him and then he would decide and that way you guys keep your hands clean right and you guys stay free and, and you have the ability to kind of flow in it and what happens is and i talked about this before and i'm real passionate there's people that are in the music industry right and there's people that are in the music business. There's a big difference. The difference is the business, all right? Okay. If you're everybody's friend and you just show up at everything and you're there all the time on the scene, you're then you the become industry. common because you're everybody, you're just, you're friendly with everybody, but you're not making money off everyone. 
It's always going to be a favor. Hey, come through and do this for me. Hey, can you come perform? I need you to DJ. Can you come cover my thing? So, <laughs> Because, yeah, and there's no, my travel fee, too. I do that a lot. This, like, so that this, happens, this right? So definitely. now when, when you have management and you have a team involved, so you say, listen, I got a management team. Um, and what that does is that takes a lot of the discretion out of your hands and say, look, I got a team and this is how we do things in the team. And just, I want to do it. I'm totally interested in doing this. I just need you to talk to Sinister and, and, and we'll, we'll figure it out. And so that, that not only gives you an opportunity to take that out of your hands and ask for more money or ask for money in general and create a business relationship or be in the music business as opposed to the industry, but that also gives you an opportunity to strategize with your team and say, listen, this is a good idea. Maybe we're not making a lot of money on this, but maybe this is an opportunity to do more of these. Maybe this is an outlet that I've never even considered before. So that's the, the strategy of a management team if you're paying it. It's not just to take their percentage, it's more to come up with a strategy and say, hey, help me have these conversations. Or what what am I worth? What can yeah, I charge? I might be worth I might feel I had I'm to worth. learn that too. That definitely helped me out too. I yes. had to learn yeah. my worth too. I'm that's struggling with that. And once right you now. stand on that's that, honesty. Once you hey, stand on that, people hate that you though. They no, definitely. but it's are you an artist, model, or entertainer? Do you need help with bookings, castings, or even engagement on your platforms? Hit up Urban Grind TV today and let them get you right. What about you know what about me? Been doing this since the age of 15. I've been on my own. Tell me what do I need? She make me cry. I'ma make you bleed. Yeah, killers on alert and they on their way back. Feel like I'm uncomfortable without my stress. Should've told me you run it to behind my back. Should've told me you run the game. But now it's a rap, let's get it. Hit from the back so I know that she with it. I got a ball, can't get knocked on my pivot. Pushing these dress, so you know I be dealing. She like when I touch it, she know I'ma kill it. Took all my enemies, know I'ma drill them. All in the mouth, she be sharing a dinner. The TV like Kindle, fire up the blush with the pole and I bend him. Block with the switch, see the light in my denim. If I gotta get him, then I gotta get him. Ain't missing no socks, so we watch what we send him. I'm popping your pill, now I feel like a million. Got it in my back, so I might pop a burger. And if I. <laughs> Thanks for clicking on the link. My name is Wally Locker III. I'm the executive producer of Urban Grind Television and author of Music Is My Business, a startup strategy guide to the music business. I've been in the industry for over 18 years, working with artists, entertainers, producers, record executives, and more. I put together a brand new strategy guide just for you on how to navigate the music business. I'm going to talk about your vision, about your commitments, about your dreams, building the supreme team, and more. Also, how to fund your business. So all you need you to do is hit the link below, put in your email address. We're going to send you the newsletter. We're going to give you some free bonus content, and you also got an exclusive offer. It's all free. Just click on the link below, put in your email address, and get in tune. It's Urban Grind TV. Music is my business. Let's go. Like Horace, new freak won't flowers for us. Shock waves, man, you doing something right. Black waving in the dark to the sunlight. I'm smart as hell, bet I go dumb right. Flow dope, cause it's too young, right? Wolverine, for I wore the clothing. No talking, nigga, ask Nolan. Lil Wayne and Herb, I'm rolling. With a chain go, shit, it got stolen. Did the PIs of a fat joke. Skinny nigga pockets on fat hoe. You ain't never slime out saying slat though. Boost mobile bitch, where you at, ho? On the back street, pop with them boys. No dyke, we'll bring out them toys. I got the sauce talking soy. Police want hands behind back, I ain't Roy. Shooting guard like Brandon Roy. Ball like that girl and that boy. Take the last shot and kill Roy. 
Whoa, well, ready, this not Troy. New PR bitch, better marketing. You was quiet, now you talk, Lori marketing. New show on the calendar, I'm marketing. A brand new V and I ain't parking it. I'm the one having a baby. You should have never FaceTime Mabry. Free crack, mashed potatoes, no gravy. Bitch, powder weed, Tom Brady. 500 kill dinner with Jay Z. Started from the bottom like Drake G. And my homie said, pass in my Navy. Jim and I, but I'm too wavy. Yeah. I was the one on Damon. And look, Gary just got out like Damon. Ice went back, no changing. My bro still likes play changing. Did so whole with roping him. Shout out Dan, but I never did cope with him. Duke knew that I could move the dope with him. Nigga, we is real homies coming over trip. Sat in the back at the funeral. I ain't even speak cause I'm a general. Little brother, big brother, both criminals. Cuz pop pills like minerals. Chelsea should have been up on Michigan. You was rich, so cares get rich again. DT fucking on your bitch again. OT splitting up the damn dividends. Stick it to the script, nigga, stick it in. Now I worry about you cause you fidget in. Bitch, I blow the bag, not budget in. Outcast trying to let my cousin in. He blow like a shot for the buzzer in. On Saeed Grave, I'm proud of him. Feel like Weezy, out of here. Protect my peace like not of here. It's cracking, all we need is a pot of here. Oh, bro. It's cracking, all we need is a pot of here. Yo, what's the word? It's SMG Zello, aka Thought Boy Zello, the Talk A Lot artist, man. In the beginning, it was hard for me to get exclusives and to get promo for my music. But guess what? UGTV has that, man. Call the number below and they will help you out, man. It was the best thing I did for myself. y'all it's your home girl your soul sister the queen of the ghetto gospel johnny dimitri we live here at urban grind tv urban grind radio and your home girl been blessed with a brand new segment on the show called johnny's top five so all of my music friends my music family if you got some new music that you want to promote old music that you feel like needed a little bit more love or even an exclusive send it to me at radio at urban grind and we gonna get you some shine and who Whoever reaches number one on the top five, get a chance to come in and interview with your girl. So send your music in now. I am expecting you. See you. Peace. Okay, so I'm in this weird little spot as like an entrepreneur starting her business, right? And doing like deals and stuff and finalizing the website. So I'm finalizing my prices. Now, for the people that have booked with me before, Tickets right, going they're, up. they're expecting like, oh, I was with you before. So now it's that price and they get so flabbergasted at the fact that like my prices have gone up and that's what the price is now I'm offering like a deal right now if you go on my page and share it there's a deal up right now and any makeup that you want that gets booked for it'll be that deal applied right now but it only can be shared through April um, so that's what I have going on right now and everybody's like oh that's expensive well, listen. That's expensive. So, am I charging out. too much, or am no. I just uh, like targeting the wrong listen, audience? What? Listen, if it comes down to money, you don't want to have a thing they call it the race to the bottom. So, if us three are selling the same product, and all we're doing is cutting each other's price, you sell it for a dollar, I'm gonna sell it for ninety cents. Zell is gonna save it for seventy cents, and we just race to the bottom, right? And nobody's making any money. And a lot of people that have consumer. Um, like a consumer I, like vision, they just go for the cheapest. We don't. Those are essentially not the people that are going to tend to be successful. They're not the people that, that believe in investing in themselves. Or be and, consistent and as, be a, as a... be realistic in this business. As a what client. other career or dream can you go and invest no money in, expect everyone else to do the work and spend the money and make it? There is nowhere else. You can't do it. It's not, it's not realistic. So if those people don't, they don't understand the value, then... Those ain't the people to work with. And I'm sorry. Um, and That's going to be a lot of people yes, out here. Yes. Listen, and people that know that know me, and they can say whatever they want, 
I am not hard to deal with, I'm, but I'm not easy to play with. I'm not going to let you play with me. And I've been doing this 22 years, so I, I'm able to see things coming. And you'll, you'll run into these situations of, hey, is this person playing around? But when you understand value and say, listen, not only do I do great makeup, but I'm also a personality, I'm also a model, I'm an entertainer, I host because I bring a better value, uh, there's no comparison to what we offer. And that's how I feel about Urban Grind TV. There's podcasts, I've seen them come, I've seen them go. There's dope ones all over. There's people that do great stuff. But well, what you have to worry about and focus on as a model, as an artist, as a business owner, as an entertainer, an entrepreneur, is what value can you bring? If you want to be a valuable person, then you have to bring value to people. We're here of service, right? They got to hire us for our time so that we're, we're here to serve. Well, it's no definitely. different than being in a relationship or having children is where, where they're at their service. Um, so it's the same thing, and people have to understand it. It's, it's just about valuing, like, understanding. Listen like, to them cook, man. The money. I got to listen to them right, cook, man. Right, because this is definitely. something that's true, right? I see it, and a lot of people don't want to have those uncomfortable conversations and be like, oh, why the money? Do you want to be the artist that's, that's there three hours early, performs, and then an hour and a half after the show, you're sticking around waiting for your money? And the promoter's busy. He sees you, he knows he owes you, but he's not gonna look for you, right? So do you wanna be the person that's like standing around waiting for your cash? Or do you wanna be like, well, the manager sent the uh, paperwork over, I had the money when you booked it, the other half, when I arrive at the venue before my artist gets out the car, the other money's in, in our hand and then we go and we perform and we have a contract and we have a set expectations of how long we're going to do there and what kind of job we're going to create. And I think that's what happens a lot of times with young entrepreneurs, people that are doing things that we're still finding our, our way is that we don't set expectations early enough. We don't say, hey, I want I'm going to do this great job for you and I'm going to turn around, but I want to get I need to get paid on this because my time is money. You know, and so I feel that's a problem that I've ran into is I've jumped into business opportunities um, and relationships with for entrepreneurs and like collaborations, joint ventures and say, hey, this is a great idea. We both have the vision. But what we did, what I didn't do early enough is I didn't set expectations. Say, listen, I'm expecting this out of you. Um, and, and if we do that as business owners, as entrepreneurs, producers, studio owners, makeup artists, models, and say, hey, this is my rate card. Are you interested in booking me? Let me send you over the link to my website. It has all my rates on there. But actually, you know, I would love to work with you. I could probably maybe get you a better rate. But that's your your price, and your price is your price. Um, and it goes down to the same thing of, like, people that are, like, the casino strategy. The, the minnows, the dolphins, and the whales. The minnows are the smallest people. They spend the least amount of money in any business, okay? And they are the biggest pain in the butt. They want the most from you. They're going to call you the most, and they're going to drive you the craziest, and they're going to spend the least amount of With money. With the most details, yes. being the most specific, yes. but want the cheapest yes. motherfucking deal the, you can So you understand. Uh, yeah, yes. So yeah. those are the minnows. The dolphins spend a little bit more money, right? And then they're, they're actually like, a little, right, it's worth it. They're a little bit easier to deal with because they understand value. Now, the whales are the people that keep businesses afloat like a, a majority of them, unless they're like corporate franchise. Those are the whales that are people that you'll get two or three of those a year. They'll spend a good chunk of money. And this is statistically, this is not my opinion. And those keep businesses going, small businesses, because they're like, oh, I got a contract. He does like four shows a year, and this is going to bring an X amount. Those are the whales. And you know what those people are? Easier to deal with. John knows. Those are like the coolest people. You don't have any issue with them. They're fun to work with. They you could probably the go out for dinner afterwards, yes. have a drink with You're them, good. and they're got like they're like, being realistic. And they're that's, people, that's you know. Who, so that's the biggest thing is a lot of time, you know, especially in management or working with artists or just being friendly is they will want you to over deliver, and they'll be like, "You could do that, right? You could do that, right?" And because they only want, they're seeking immediate gratification. They really don't care that it's not realistic. They just want you because we're friendly to tell me what I want to hear. Tell me what I want to hear for the moment because it'll make me feel good. And you are under the pressure. So I don't want to tell them that that is not even realistic or that's not fair to me in price or it's just right. not doable. Because then what happens? Like I'm we also guy. we lose that money. We lose that client. You lose that the time. Blah, everything else becomes a, oh, she's too expensive. She's well, too gonna, expensive. Word of mouth is really crazy right yes. now. So. That's the point is if you set the expectations and you be realistic about stuff, you, you do as you 
you eliminate a lot of the BS. And if you, something does happen, there is a miscommunication. What I do, and I've had a lot of them, I'll call them and I'll be like, hey, here's the contract, here's the agreement, here's what our guideline or what we agreed to already, and we can just let's review it. Maybe there's something that you don't understand about it. I want to help you understand it, and let's figure this out. Now, that's the new me. The old one, they didn't, they, they didn't get that. But right. as we mature and we do better, um, that's how we got to move. So now we're in technical and specs. There's yeah, only 10. That right. leads me to the, this is one of the biggest ones that uh, this game. a lot of a lot of uh, my homies or some of my friends, you know, that don't understand, you know. Like, not not the first one, but song information, too, is yes. include detailed meta, metadata. For the, metadata for the song. Like title, artist name, release date, and genre. Yes. Technical requirements. Specify in any technical details DJs may need to know, such as BPM, beats per minute, and key of the track. BPM now, is now, so important. Why? Now I didn't. Now when I I didn't uh I didn't even know what BPM was for a minute. Like I had wrote songs for a long time and didn't even know what BPM was until I had got around like. The producer, you know, and when I find out when I found out what B per minute was, it really amazed me to know like how many people don't understand why it's so important to have this. Like it, it was, it just blew my mind. It's the speed of your track. It's the speed. So it's, like of, the it's the beats per minute. It's how fast the track moves. So if you're doing a live mix, right, a lunch mix, and you're turned up and you're at one, one ten, whatever. I'm not a DJ, so don't beat me up, guys. And I'm mixing. And, like, your BPMs in the 90s, I know it's going <laughs> to slow down. So that gives a person, a DJ, as he's planning his set or he's playing something, it gives him a look and say, oh, I know what that will fit. This is going to be another mix that I'm going to do. So, it's again, it's information, technical information. And, like, when the song data, because remember, we're talking about MP3s now and WAV files. There's no, right. like, CD. Like, you can email it, and it's worldwide in minutes. And, and if, what if I, some guy in France that doesn't even speak English gets it and he's like, I love this, I want this record. Without the artist name, the title, the release date, all the genre, they don't even have a way they to contact you if that. you're not Googleable. Not There's a lot of art people that ain't. You 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 might be like Johnny Two Guns as a rapper, but your Instagram is lithium battery one. It's some outrageous, it doesn't match, right? right. So the song information, and, and you know that's one of the things we do with the registration, where you literally are able to add it into the MP3, into the info that anybody can access it and look at it. You can put links, you put all the info, and you're like, man, this is dope. So what a DJ will do, they'll see it, and they'll be like, man, you know what? I like this Zello joint. I'm going to hit Zello because I'm playing it, and I'm going to see if he'll give me a drop. So a DJ will literally email and say, hey, send me some. I'm playing your song. I want you to intro it. Mm -hmm. And you'll be like, yo, this is Thought Boy Zello, and I'm rocking with DJ Showtime. <laughs> And this is my new record, you know, talk a lot. So you give them that, and that's what we talked about, building the relationships with with the DJs. Now they have something personalized, something that they can flex. And without that contact information, without that name, because even in translations, things get lost, right? So we got to think we're in a worldwide spectrum, and there's no hard copy. It's literally digital. It's on a, a MP3. That drives me nuts. When people send me photos... Or files, and it just says, like, picture 103. I don't know who you are. Right. I take the time to label it, and you should, too, because it's more professional. And that's and once you download it, and it's in a, it's in a desktop with a million other files, you're just going to get lost in the mix. It's your proper presentation. Um, Most definitely. So, that, I so, mean, do you see why it makes sense in the song information? Yeah, I definitely... Are you an artist, model, or entertainer? Do you need help with bookings, castings, or even engagement on your platforms? Hit up Urban Grind TV today and let them get you right. What about you? No, what about me? Been doing this since the age of 15. I've been on my own. Tell me what do I need? She make me cry. I'ma make you bleed. Yeah, killers on alert and they on their way back. Feel like I'm uncomfortable without my stress. Should've told me you running to behind my back. Should've told me you run the game. But now it's a rap, let's get it. Hit from the back so I know that she with it. I got a ball, can't get knocked on my pivot. Pushing these dress so you know I be dealing. She like when I touch it, she know I'ma kill it. Took out my enemies, know I'ma drill them. All in the mouth, she be sharing a dinner. All on the couch, switch the TV like 
Kendall. Five the blocks with the pole and I bend them. Block with the switch, see the light in my denim. If I gotta get them, then I gotta get them. Ain't missing no sign, so we watch what we send them. I'm popping your pill, now I feel like a million. Got it in my back, so I might pop a perk. And if I. Thanks for clicking on the link. My name is Wally Locker III. I'm the executive producer of Urban Grind Television and author of Music Is My Business, a startup strategy guide to the music business. I've been in the industry for over 18 years, working with artists, entertainers, producers, record executives, and more. I put together a brand new strategy guide just for you on how to navigate the music business. I'm going to talk about your vision, about your commitments, about your dreams, building the supreme team, and more. Also, how to fund your business. So all you need to do is hit the link below, put in your email address. We're going to send you the newsletter. We're going to give you some free bonus content, and you also got an exclusive offer. It's all free. Just click on the link below, put in your email address, and get in tune. It's Urban Grind TV. Music is my business. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Y'all already know what's up. Goodbye, Don't, baby. Just Bitch, I stand tall, five foot giant Hoes better stay in they place Big boss standing on business Fuck sense, I gotta make cake No cap money, get me wet Why you hoes strolling through the ground? I'm brainstorming, thumbing through a check Niggas asking what I'm dropping next Pretty bitch demand her respect Cause I remember when I ain't have shit Now it's Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Prada One of these and they ain't out yet Been lit, that's why you hoes jealous Why I'd rather kick it with the fellas Whole team of young convicted felons Sooner or later y'all to get the mess I stand tall, five foot giant Hoes better stay in they place Big boss standing on business Fuck since you gotta make cake Stand tall, five foot giant Hoes better stay in they place Big boss standing on business Fuck since you gotta make cake 20s, 50s, 100s, run it up Money on my mind like a bunny Laughing at you broke, niggas funny He wanna fuck, ain't shit coming I stand on business, aka next A nigga ain't talking about nothing Still living, fuck, nigga free Y'all know the name of DJ Miss Hypnotic Big dripper, designer, clothes rocker Basic bitches, clearance, rack shoppers Check the drip, everything official Don't worry, baby, I don't want you, nigga Lifestyle lit, I got motion Lil' but I'm big, fix your focus By the way, I'm known to keep the fire Don't get your lace front turned back I stand Stand tall, five foot giant, hoes better stay in they place. Big boss standing on business, fuck since it gotta make cake. Stand tall, five foot giant, hoes better stay in they place. Big boss standing on business, fuck since it gotta make cake. Yo, what's the word? It's SMG Zello, aka Thought Boy Zello, the Talk A Lot artist, man. In the beginning, it was hard for me to get exclusives and to get promo for my music. But guess what? UGTV has that, man. Call the number below and they will help you out, man. It was the best thing I did for myself. y'all it's your home girl your soul sister the queen of the ghetto gospel johnny dimitri we live here at urban grind tv urban grind radio and your home girl been blessed with a brand new segment on the show called johnny's top five so all of my music friends my music family if you got some new music that you want to promote old music that you feel like needed a little bit more love or even an exclusive send it to me at radio at urban grind tv.com and we gonna get you some shine and who Whoever reaches number one on the top five, get a chance to come in and interview with your girl. So send your music in now. I am expecting you. See you. Peace. Promotional materials, one sheet or press release. Create a one-page document summarizing key information about the release, including notable features, collaborations, and upcoming projects. So... So like with this one, like with this one, I had questions about. Yeah, let's talk about it. So, um, with the with the creating the one page document summarizing the key information about the release. So that's just basically like the description, right? So it's a it's basically a one page sales ad 
for your you. It has the bio. It has the information. It's gonna have the song. It, so for that Zalo single. was featured on BET. He was. Uh, Zalo is a, 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 a iTunes chart topping artist. So these are notable things, right? That yeah. are gonna be listed. So when I read you and I have ten more to look at, I'll say, man, this guy's accomplished. He's done something. I want to check him out. It is. It's it's a pitch for the song. Okay. It's a pitch with the information, and that's why it says notable features, collaborations. You might have some big collaborations with people that other people may know. So you want to have that information on it. And you know, one sheets is what like everybody lived and died off when we had like CDs and records. Like I remember making the one sheets, and it would have like a picture of the CD cover. We would have the UPC, the ISRC code, the links to the thing, a small bio. And like the contact information in there, um, you know, and we would have like print them out and we print them on nice paper, like a little thicker, and we would pass them out to like the radio programmers, the DJs, the host personalities, like, hey, let me give you my one sheet. You know, every and then eventually that kind of went to like APKs, electronic press kits online, which are obviously they cost less money. You don't have to physically mail, you can say, Hey, give me your number or give me your email. I have it over to you, boom, and within minutes they'll have it. So the press kit was so important because that was like your resume. Okay. Essentially. So it's the resume. Resume, the... right. Okay. And the one sheet, but generally you're going to be doing a one sheet or a press release on a particular like song you're promoting. You want to So this is for like it. probably a, every project? Or yeah, just... whatever you're releasing, you should okay. have something. Yep. For every because project. Just like a, a press release alone, and you know, we're good to be having done as much as we should the press releases are great because they give you seo the search engine optimization so when you're post off and they put in that boy zello now you have your press release that went out to 200 news sources now your story and your link and your stuff is on 200 other sources okay. now they have links and, and you're in their seo so these one sheets are are major people don't like this and the time making them anymore we have like web pages and other things but i don't think there's I still see the value of it. And I love now is we have QR codes. So we exactly. can incorporate yeah. like five, 10 QR, different yes, links in one QR different code. Different QR codes. And you can host, you know, your, your one sheet on your website. They can scan it. You know, they can scan your merchandise wherever you put the QR code and it'll automatically download it to them. Now you have creative ways to integrate your stuff. But one sheets are so important because yeah, look, if nice. I say I'm Urban Grind, look me up on Instagram. If I have, a, we have a lot of content, but if not everybody does, you, you really don't have the full idea of what you does. You might just say, oh, she models. I don't know if she was a makeup artist. Right. I didn't know you were a host. I didn't know you were an actor. Right. So it's hard to get that from like Instagram. And that's why I was pushing Athena. I'll say, hey, get your website done because the website helps you push, tell the whole story. What's that? Right? And that's your space. And you were able to sell. Because I say like this, if it's a video, and I, you send somebody a YouTube link and I watch your video and I like it, our attention span, what happens? There's 10 other related videos here with big artists. There might be a girl in the thumbnail, right? Oh, there might be a nice car, whatever, whatever you're into. Yeah. Now I just clicked on it. I forgot all about you. Yeah. But it's like when you click on it, now you're in the store. You're in Walmart, right? You know how you start buying all kind of stuff right. and grabbing things right. because you just now, for a right. Little bit. You're in their world and you're on my website and you can kind of connect with, with what we got with limited that's a distractions. That's type of promotion right there. That's yes. different. That's a different type of promotion. So, right I mean, there. that's why it all leads back. It makes sense. Like, yeah. listen, if you want to make music, just make music. It's fun. It's beautiful. It, it's something that everybody has a right to do. But if you want to be in the music business, these are just saying, these are tips that like you got to do. There's no circumventing. You can't go around it. Okay. If you don't do it, somebody you'll be paying somebody to. Yeah, and all that leads into social media links. Look, uh, y'all can go look at my uh, IG TV underscore Zello man. Y'all already know under my bio, I got all my projects that I released with videos because I know y'all love the videos. You feel me? No faces viral. Talk a lot. I got uh. And I got I, I got everything up there with the video to it. So so most definitely you can only add five links though. But with the social media links, provide links to the artist's official social media profiles to encourage engagement and follow up. That's what most definitely I did. You it want was, the DJs following you, right? How yeah. do you know they even got the record? DJs following me. Now I can hit on my Instagram. Hey man, you check out my record. First of all, who wouldn't something? wanna you know? 
put their work out there. You see what I'm saying? To show what you did to be able to put it on your social media. You Most people. You need that. Well, let me tell you why. You let me tell you what though. it is. That's something you need. You see Un- what I'm saying? Unconsciously, this is my humble opinion, 22 years in the business. Unconsciously, a good percentage of people, when they make music, they think that, hey, I want to reach a lot of people and I want to reach the most people on Instagram and YouTube. And they're thinking um, the fans and the end user, right? The audience were... You need a lot of money to get there. It's possible. There's viral. You have the opportunity. But why not focus on a few people like DJs, record executives, management, and other people like that, where that smaller pool of people will get you in front of the larger you audience. audiences? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, like, you need to drive. How do you know what, like, who are the smaller pool of people that, like, you can Do in your industry? On? Yeah. So, like, okay, for us, if I say, hey, I want to break an artist. <laughs> There's only X amount of major record labels. So now I start Googling A&Rs, who handles the A&R, the artists and repertoire, who does the signing, who looks for the talent for these labels. You make a list, you get the email, you start following them all on, on social media, you start looking, who's they signed? Oh, maybe they signed somebody like me. And then those are the people you start targeting. Yes, they're gonna be hard to get to. Is stuff readily available? No, but this is a grind if you really want it. It's gonna be just as much work to try and reach and now one of those good, one of those 30 people that can change your life as opposed to reaching, let's say 3,000 people on Instagram a day right. can do nothing for you. Exactly. And they might like it or whatever, but you may reach one person in the industry that says, you know what? My guy owns a studio. You know how many people I've met like that? Because they found us like that. Hey, hey, they bring someone, hey, my guy needs management. He needs this, we need that. So that brings you opportunities for collaboration because those people have what? A network of people that are doing what you want to do where the average, average audience member is not. And if they're buying your your music, that's fine. But if 99 cents, by the time you break it down, you're clearing 50 cents, who cares? Let's get with the people that make the difference, get with Urban Grind TV, get with other people out there doing it, build a network and actually that has a field of people that you want to work with. Most definitely. Because those are actually the decision makers as opposed to the employee. You know, shout out my man Randy. Randy taught me a thing. And he said, look, never take a no from someone that can't tell you yes. Never take a no from someone that can't tell you yes. So why are we talking to people? Because they can't even give me a yes. I don't want to deal with them. You go to the, you know, there's no gatekeepers, no orders of industry. And there's people that are involved. You might, it might be somebody that just invests money in you. A friend of a family say, you know what? I got some money. I want to invest. What's your dream? Then you got to have a plan. That's another show. But so I don't know. And to me, it's like some people are going to go viral. Yeah, you might want to reach that audience, but why not make yourself presentable, make yourself for people that can make a difference. Oh, I can sign you to a a makeup dealership, you know, a makeup contract. There's people that do that. Right. So you target those are the people. Those are your audience because those people will automatically put you in front of a bigger light. Maybe they don't sign you, but they'll know who you are. They're going to watch you. They're going to follow you. They're going to be checking for you. It's the same thing in the industry. People are, are not always going to jump to work with you or none. They might sit back and see, like, is this person serious? Are they going to make it? There's a lot of different things that people do. So this is this is the, the politics, right, of life and of the industry and how you move. So you want to reach the... the the big school of fish or go for the big tuna. Like exactly. The big tuna is going to feed everybody as exactly. opposed to us chasing these little minnows. Oh, girl. So, I mean, there's no wrong way to do it, but in my opinion, like, that's more probable because I, we don't have the money to reach all these people. And if I did, what are the chances? What kind of engagement? Are they going to buy a ticket? Are they really going to be a supporter? They're going to say, oh, that was cool. But the tuna's in the business of getting people tickets. He's in the business of throwing events. He's in the business of creating content. So that's the person you want to work with. Right. And you can't be scared. I, I've heard a lot of people, you'll meet someone, say, oh, yeah, I heard this about, dude. Who cares? You know, and they might even have that firsthand experience. They might be heard something they've heard from someone else. So give everybody an opportunity. Give everybody a chance. Make your own opinions. Have your own experience with them. And I think you can do something really awesome. Uh, they talk about the licensing information. Yeah. So if there's any licensing terms, if you say, hey, if you want to license me, you want to use my music for your intro, your show, whatever, here's the terms. This is how Read you contact us. Print. Read the fine print, right? Paperwork, people, mm-hmm. process, and product. That's so, so important. Legal and copyright information. Licensing yes. information clearly states any licensing terms or permissions associated with the use of the music for DJ sets or remixing. Yep. 
Most definitely. The license is the, is the rules. So also in this in this uh, format, we're gonna have it on UrbanGrindTV.com. Uh, they just sign up for the mailing list and they can uh, select what they want and they will be able to download this. What I did is I created a sample email uh, for for the uh, for the DJ pack. So with this sample email, you can literally copy paste this, put your information, send an email. Look, if I just get a generic uh, email, don't even have like Urban Grind is nothing addressed to me. There's there's 50 other people in the two field, right? You didn't even care to BC City others, and it says like my song. It's very ignorant. I don't speak Spanish. You know that. You don't have this? <laughs> All right. No habla. So, look. You can copy paste this. Why y'all always want to leave the Puerto Rican out of things? No, we got to pause this right now because we really have to talk about this. This is an ongoing issue right now. Where is this? No. Why is it back there? I, I don't know. Yours is a little different. Cause you're a little Why di- I get the retarded one? Because you're a little different. We don't use words like that. You see this? She's, she's different. Um, so we give it a sample email. What we could do is copy and paste the sample email. And it's just basically addressed to let people know, hey, I, I rock with you. I follow your show. Um, I had artists that have been booked on like bigger platforms, like for DJs big, like to get interviewed. And what everybody that told me that did the booking, they said, listen, he likes when he knows something about him. If, if he's a big guy and you're a small fish you're coming pompous. on this platform they're very you should pompous. they, they want to know that's respect you're coming you're, you're coming on you're using their platform that they're providing for you Kiss out up. of respect you should know no you should at least have some knowledge of that person because if not why are you on the show but why do they want to talk respect. for hours about themselves nobody said hours that's being excessive it's being excess. You so what I was saying fish, don't the big fish usually like talking the point is that if if okay if you extended someone an interview on this show, right, and they came on and they only know who you are, like, oh, you model? No, it's no, understandable. Said, no, like, it's understandable to at least know your host or know who's that's like what I'm saying. who's coming to you. Yeah, know something but about like, them. But but, uh, to but imagine know this: everything is no, crazy. nobody said everything. But imagine this: imagine that that host has been in the industry for thirty years, is has notoriety and is very um, distinguished, and he's on a platform with forty-five million. People, what that says is just put some respect on his name. That's it. So know who you're dealing with. Respect right. people. I call people sir, yes or no sir. Like my peers, my elders. It's respect. It's always something because you're never gonna go wrong with respect. You'll never lose. If you want to be G, that's the most G stuff. Is respect. Like anybody can be ignorant, um, and that just comes down to our ability to control our, our emotions and how we feel because we're temperate this is this is uh, temperate all right so a passionate what, industry. so so how long is too long in a conversation so i did like, I, it's a, you, it's two paragraphs like how do you so i said i hope this email finds you well my name is that boy zello i'm a hip-hop artist based in chicago i've been following your sets and Power 92, and I've been impressed by your selections. You know, make this yours, all right? I'm excited to share my latest song. Attaching the email, you'll find a high-quality version, including the original mix, a clean radio edit, instrumental, acapella versions for remixing. Uh, here's a brief uh, review, review of my background, so you give me a little snap on your bio, right? Um, and you say, hey, I believe this song would resonate with your audience. And I would love to hear your feedback. Ask them for something. Say, hey, can I get your feedback on it? They take the time to listen to it. And they like it. They gonna they may play it. That's what DJs want it for. Or they may say, you know what, this ain't me. What else you got? And either way, it's, it creates an opportunity to spark a conversation and build a relationship. And then you thank them. Thank you for considering my music. I look forward to the possibility of collaborating and connecting with you in the future. So even if it's a no now, don't get mad. I've had people like get mad. You didn't get picked first round. It doesn't matter. Leave that door open. Keep it happy. You're not gonna win. This is not. The everybody gets a trophy. I know it's that generation, but not in the music industry because the real world don't work like that. Yeah. Not every, you got to earn that trophy, and that's okay. People are gonna tell you no. I've been told no. I've been laughed. I had door slam. I said it would never work. It, it, it doesn't matter. You have to have that reserve in you. And it's follow up. I'll bug them if if I want somebody. I will bug them. I'll email them every day, every day, every day. I will take do a it. chance too. Cause you have to do I, it. at first I uh. This is just an example too, but at first I thought um, this person I reached out to wasn't gonna uh, reach back out to me. Uh, she a Chicago artist. Shout out, she go cream, and she actually listening to my music and she told me how she how she liked it and she gave me some feedback and you know you see what I'm saying. But 
me thinking that I was just did it on some. I ain't think that she was gonna reply back on some. You see what I'm saying? Thinking like they up that type, but actually some people be down to earth. Some people be willing to work. So just take a chance. But and you don't know people's time, their situation, yeah. what they got going on. Um, How long their their request box is? Right. Yeah. They might have a bunch of stuff, and then I get to it. You can't take it personal. When you see those people in person, you're out. That gives you opportunity to politic with them. But this the DJ service pack. It's the breakdown of what artists, what they need when they're sending music out to DJs, what the different versions of music is, what's expected, and what should be included when you send out a service pack and why it's important. So we'll have all the information on the website, urbangrindtv.com uh, backslash contact. They can just go on there, fill out the contact form, ask what they want click on what they want. Everything's going to be available in the book coming out. Um, you guys got any feedback for the for the segment? Any? I mean, this was great. We had good. Hey, I learned a lot. Yes. It was my job today to be kind of controversial and kind of ask the questions that are kind of like weird, kind of like not new weird. to everybody. Well, not weird, but like new to everybody um, to kind of like gain further information since I came into this not knowing anything. So I, I learned a lot. Yeah, as a I young, hope you guys did too, by the way. As a young artist speaking for the ones who like uh who don't got as much guidance as I do, you see what I'm saying? Like these are some great gems that you definitely need to like push yourself to do better and strive to do better because this is what it's gonna take. This is why it's behind the grind. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. This is why it's that. So, you know, these are the gems that you gonna need to push your career to the next level if that's what you want, you know. I mean, and that's the whole point. I didn't if I have people out here that know everything, how can we learn everything? Exactly. And, um, Athena, you're going to ask uh, questions from the perspective of a new artist anyways because they're going to know. It's worse than some people think they know everything and we can't help them. But that's great because you're going to ask real, honest questions, and this, these are the same questions that people are going to have at home. So... Um, Zalo, where can they find you at if they want to tap in, man? Man, y'all already know. Y'all can find me on YouTube, everywhere, Thought Boy Zello, Vivo, Thought Boy Zello, on IGTV underscore Zello, Facebook, Thought Boy Zello, you feel me? SMG Zello everywhere, Thought Boy Zello everywhere. You already know what it is, man. And y'all already know where to find me, Puerto Rican Creative. And if you need your makeup done by any means necessary, MUA.PR.Creative on Instagram. Y'all already know it's the same way for TikTok, Puerto Rican Creative. Try to find me, I got you. It's your boy Wally, a.k.a. Mr. Music is my business. This has been Behind the Grind. Thank you guys so much, man. Thank you. Keep rocking with us. You can follow us at Urban Grind TV on all social media. And if they want to hit us up, 888-380-1913. Hit the lineup and get your grind up. Let's go.